We are cooking with one. So today we're going to do some itty bitty tiny little meatballs. I'm going to show you how to do them. We did them and I actually used your leftover burger meat from our last video, which is our leftover video. We're going to post that soon. There's a lot of footage there. So um, we'll get to editing that and show you our leftovers. So we're using leftovers. Are you trying to replicate that meat? Because if so, you're going to need some fresh grated Parmesan in there. Oh, it's, oh, it's behind you. Uh, yes, I'm going to put fresh grated parm. <laughs> she said it's behind you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have a bunch of spices up here. I will put in the comments or the description the spices I put in it. But we're, baby, can you please mince me one onion and three jalapenos to throw in this? Three jalapenos, mince, got it. Thanks, baby. And I'll show you the rest of the spices and everything that's gonna go in it. Well, top me up too. Okay, while we take a quick wine break, I have a dad joke for you. Can't wait. What happens when the cheese factory in France blows up? What? There's debris everywhere. Oh my god. So bad. You see what I live with? What I it's like all day, every day. This is I don't know. Alright, so your meatballs. We're gonna make tiny meatballs, not your giant ginormous meatballs. We're making itty bitty meatballs. So I'm just gonna tell you what's in it. My loving husband here mints us some onions and jalapenos, right? Babe, you did that? We put some just like regular garlic with some juice in there, a couple of tablespoons. Um, we have garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, some dried minced onions along with uh, fresh minced onions, um, parsley, black pepper, and a bunch of Parmesan cheese and our ground red pepper. So I don't like red pepper flake. So we take our red pepper flakes and we put them in a processor and grind them down. And we also threw in some, what was the other cheese I put in it? Fiesta. Fiesta blood. I can tell that you couldn't resist making yours fairly large compared to mine, but that's okay. Now we're just gonna pop these in the oven, 350 for 15, 20 minutes or so. There was one thing that I did forget that I, I did add a couple like three finger pinches of the dry roll that you made earlier that looks so good. So there's like kind of a sweet, spicy, cheesy kind of thing going on in here. But you can see our recipe to the dry rub that we made, but I feel like any meat, no matter what it is, putting that dry rub in it, whether it's a burger, a meatball, rubbing some pork down with it, like your dry rub just goes with everything. Yes, now it's time to taste her balls. I don't have balls. They are so good. The jalapeno, that cheese in it. And then they're going into um, what's like a curry pumpkin soup. Yeah, a little crunch from the onions and mm. garlic. 
and that onion and jalapeno like really make them more.